Yo, what is up guys? Boris here coming to you guys with a walkthrough of the Luffy Ace Challenge Island. Now this is a very difficult island. Uh, compare it sort of to the 20th anniversary Straw Hat Island that we had a while back. I'd use three different teams in this video. You can only run it three times, but I did manage to do it with three different teams. Uh, as you can see here, the first team that we're going to be running with is a Luffy Ace team using Legend Sabo, using the Legend Rayleigh, using Kobe, and using uh, Shirahoshi Rare Recruit. First thing you want to do in all of these runs is always take out the guys in the back because they will poison you and that poison will kill you. So pretty much you have to take out the guys in the back no matter what. And then with this team you should be uh, good to go from there on this room. Now I will mention a few things. First is that uh, Legend Rayleigh seems to be MVP for this island. Almost every single team uh, that I've seen besides like one or two has Rayleigh on it. Uh, so Rayleigh, Legend Rayleigh, if you don't have him, it might be a little bit difficult. Um, but the other thing I do want to mention is that this island will probably become a little bit easier once the new batch comes out. Um, it's very, pretty much made so that you run the um, the new Gear 4 Luffy or the new Legend Nami. So it's sort of made for one of those two. If you pull them, you'll probably have a much easier time. But just overall, if you can clear it right now, It'll give you a few extra gems for, for Suko Fest because of the fact that if you clear it three times, then you'll get 10 free gems. You also get a feast, which is really awesome. So try to clear it three times if you can. And now this team right here, again, this is probably, I would say this is the easiest team of all the ones I've, I've shown so far. Uh, probably requires the less, uh, the least number of perfects. You know, you can mess up a few, few places here or there. And overall, the damage is plentiful. You don't, um, with the exception of maybe the, the final room, uh, you, you get a lot of damage in, and so it makes some of the bosses easier. Um, now, Shanks here, um, he will paralyze and he will silence. So you definitely need to bring Shirahoshi. Um, you know, you can bring, I guess, potentially time skip Nami, but Shirahoshi is definitely the MVP for this uh, room right here. Um, go ahead and use her after you stall for one turn. Because she only, I think she only gets rid of four turns. Actually, she might get rid of five turns. But anyways, what you want to do here uh, is just pop the... Um, just make sure to be using your Luffy Ace specials. Keep in mind that in the first room, pretty much everything that's a powerhouse, free spirit, cerebral, or um, driven will be, I believe, instantly maxed. Uh, and on top of that, once you reach the fourth room, uh, same thing, those guys will be reduced their cooldowns by 10 turns. So you can feel free to use Luffy Ace in the first room. Make sure to keep him as Luffy though, to, uh, because if you, if you uh, make him Ace, he will not get the debuff, uh, the cooldown reduction on this room. Which, at the end of the day, might not matter that much. Uh, you probably can still stall it out. But, um, yeah, I would recommend, like I said, keeping it as Luffy. Because Luffy will continue to be uh, free spirit uh, for that. So, um, this room, you want to take out the guys in the back. Again, just like normal. But here's the, here's the main difference, guys. Leave the purple one alive. Try to do a little bit of damage to him. And then the turn where he is going to... Uh, where he's going to attack, you have to use Sabo special to clear it. Um, I might as well take this time now to mention that uh, these three teams I did get from Reddit. So actually, two of the teams I got from Reddit, one of the teams I got from Alex Kim, who's a very, uh, very, very top tier JP player, uh, which um, I'll show that team at the end of the video. But yeah, Reddit helped out a lot because this is a very, very difficult dungeon. Uh, there's maybe like five or six teams I've seen total that can clear it. And I just wanted to give them a quick shout out. So. Uh, here we go. You want to pop the the Sabo, which actually I think I just skipped in the video, but you want to make sure to pop Sabo special attack um, the you need four perfects. You want to attack the zebra and then attack the two turtles, and that'll give you the Sabo ability for this room. Um, the reason you need to do that is because Cavendish will only use one special per turn, so you need that Sabo special. Then you're gonna pop the Rayleigh special again. Rayleigh, very very MVP, having both a really powerful chain lock and a really powerful orb boost. So go there and make sure you have, um, I'd try to farm Orb on Rayleigh or Shira if you can as well in the previous room. Uh, that would really help against Cavendish. Um, now here we go, Garp. Um, I would say Garp is probably the, the most difficult uh, of all of the bosses for all the teams because I believe he'll knock away two members uh, after his first turn. So you, have, you pretty much have to one-shot him. You pretty much have to one-shot him with, all, with every team I've seen. Um, which in this case is not going to be too difficult. You know, just pop Kobe and a um, and a Luffy Ace here, 
and that should give you enough damage to to do that. And remember to switch to blue. Remember to use Kobe's ability. You need to have three blue units up. So try try to remember to switch to Luffy before you use his ability. Otherwise, you might not notice it. Now all of a sudden, you don't have like an orb boost or something or a type boost. So here we go. Garp is down. And now, guys, um, he's gonna cut your HP by a good amount. This is gonna give you anti healing, so you cannot heal. Now, uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter. It will matter for the next team, but in this case, it doesn't really matter. Um, and he also will silence your members. And now, here we go, guys. The final boss is Luffy X Ace. He will also paralyze your units. Again, Shirohoshi is really, really OP for this. Shirohoshi is definitely one of the most used rare recruits in the game. I went ahead and maxed her out during times four skill up because she's very useful, and I'm really glad she uh, I did. Um, and finally, here we go, guys. Make sure you use Luffy. As I said, you pretty much have to do perfects here. Uh, I think I barely, I think I barely um, got it because it was, it was actually pretty difficult. So one, two. There we go. So that is Luffy X Ace. That's team number one down next up guys you can see here we're gonna be doing a zombie team so this team is a lot easier to make because it pretty much only requires you to have the only legend is you know Arashi however the reddit post did say that you must have him max uh, cutting candy and max limit break so that might be a little bit difficult to do uh, hopefully you have max limit broken him because one he has a sailor effect which actually makes him deal a lot more damage if he's the last person to hit on your in your boot on your crew so if you if he's a sixth person to hit then you will get a boost also make sure to use a special here on the first room want to say that before i forget and the other thing guys is that Inu Arashi, he just does massive damage so you want to make sure to limit break him for the attack stats and put cotton candy on him and then you'll barely be able to do this it's gonna be really really close uh, on top of that your akainu v2 should also be maximum broken and should have cotton candy on it and in this case, you can just use a friend Akainu V2. I did that just for the purposes of this video. It does work. And the final thing, guys, before you keep going and try to this team out, is that you do need level 3 Despair. So you do need level 3 Despair because young uh, the Whitebeard in the previous room, I believe he'll Despair for 5 turns. So with a level 3, that'll put you 2 turns, and he attacks for 2 turns later. So you do need level 3 Despair. Other than that, you can easily zombie uh, Whitebeard on, on the second stage. And then on this one, you want to try to get him as close to 50%. And then you're going to want to pop all your specials on Shanks once you get him right above 50 so you can one-shot him from there. I'm not too sure what he does uh, below 50, but uh, he'll probably do something really annoying. So I just went ahead and followed the steps. And as you can see, like I said earlier, uh, Inorashi is really important. Not only does he get boosted by Brook, so he gets an attack boost. He also gets the orb boost from Akainu. And he has that, li that Limit Break Sailor effect, which makes him deal 200 extra uh, attack on added to him. So really powerful. And don't forget to use the ship as well, because ship is an extra little 100k damage you can add in there. Um, this room, again, very important that you use uh, Ino Rush just like in the first room, to take out these guys. Um, it's kind of difficult because of the targeting in this uh, in this room, so you know try to take out as many of them as possible. But remember, your Akainu V2 does do a million damage if you can hit all perfects. So that's going to be sort of the important thing uh, to keep in mind, is you really just got to hit those perfects. Uh, if you do have Akainu V2, I recommend just using the team that I'm going to show at the end of the video. Uh, but if you don't have Akainu V2, this is mainly for you guys. This is, I'd say this is the easiest team to make, assuming you have Inorashi Maximum Broken. Or you can. Hopefully you saved up those potions from Treasure Mode. So, uh, Cavendish, another really easy room. Just gonna, uh, oh, one thing you have to do, as you can see here, I have stalled out the orb lock. So he will orb lock you for, I think, 20 turns. So you just got to stall those out. But I skipped it in the video just so it doesn't take up so much time. Uh, and then Garp, here we go. This again, this is the toughest room in my opinion. Uh, you have to one-shot him. And with zombie team, it's kind of difficult. But uh, as you can see here, we're going to pop Garp for 25%, uh, I believe. Uh, Mihawk for 30 And then the rest of the specials should barely get you there. Again, you, uh, make sure to attack with um, Inorashi last. And, and yeah, there should be enough damage. So here we go. I'm gonna try to get this done. And this again, don't don't, don't panic. These you know, if you have to take a break, um, just you know, walk away for a little bit. You gotta do it because you know, it, you it takes a while to get to this point, so you don't want to mess this up. And so here we go. Just hit hit those perfects. And like you saw in the previous run, once he does, um, once you do take him out, he will uh, cause you to be not be able to heal, and he'll deal a lot of damage. So. That's where the Kobe it comes into play because Kobe, 
uh, Kobe, <laughs> he will um, he will take that away. So that's really important for zombie teams, obviously. And um, now we're in the final room. Now the final room, guys. Uh, as I did this run, I do not know what Luffy and Ace do below twenty percent. It was not on game with yet, so it, he could potentially kill you. It could not. What I did is I played it safe, like they said in the guide, and just um, keep him right above twenty. Um, you could probably get anywhere between twenty and forty percent. And you can one-shot him from there once you stall out your Ino Arashi special again. Combined with Brook and Akainu, you, you do a lot of damage. So, that is the zombie team. It's pretty difficult, um, but you can zombie it. You can zombie it, which is really nice. Again, does require that really OP Ino Arashi. But again, he's a relatively old legend, so I do assume that most of you guys uh, have had the chance to pull him. But I'm not too sure how long he's had his limit break for, so I don't know how many people have limit broken him. Um, but yeah, that's it for zombie team. And finally, guys, I'm going to leave you with one last team. This is the Alex Kim team, the double Akainu V2. Very easy in the sense that it's uh, not that difficult. To, you don't have to think too much. You just got to hit your perfects. So overall, guys, remember to do this three times to get those 10 free gems. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace.